Welcome to Cisco. This is our Redpoint Lakes office. Uh, if you've been coming the first week of work experience, this is Wade Bin. We're going to go and take a look around. Come on. So here we are in building nine. There are three buildings here, nine, 10, 11. Building nine, we've got loads of fabulous stuff like our uh, Cisco Experience Center or CXC as I'm going to call it from now on. That's, that's a mouthful. Uh, we're going to pop up to the top floor. I'm going to show you what you would have been missing in the restaurant. We've got a fab little games room that we're going to look at. And then we'll all have a quick look around the other departments as we come down. Essentially what I want to show you is the way Cisco tries to cater to the different ways that people like to work. So different areas, different setups, whether it's an office or an open space, uh, whether it's a sleep pod because you need an afternoon nap, or you know maybe you like to recline on a, on a bean bag. But uh, we're going to take a little look around and see how Cisco does that for us. Okay, so here we are on the third floor. This is the restaurant. We have a great big restaurant. I mean, things are going to be different in the future. But one of your main jobs on a mo Monday when you first get here is to decide what you're going to eat for lunch. However, I can't do that for you this week. So you're going to have to be snacking at home. But we also have Starbucks cafes here. One on this floor and one in building 10 and a games room. Now, I know you want to see that. So let's go check that out. So here we are, the games room. I know you always want to see this. Got PlayStation over there, table tennis, pool table. I mean, pretty much we've got it all going on here. And uh, generally, you'll see this room filled with some of our apprentices, which is something you'll want to learn more about later in the week. Okay, now, other things in this building are, we have like legal and marketing, things that support the business as opposed to the actual IT things. So let's go have a little quick look around on the other floors. So this is one of our areas which we refer to as the cloud area. And you can see just uh, in shot there, those big clouds hanging up there. Also it demonstrates different ways people like to work. So there's the big table, the little egg chairs that you've gone past, and of course people's desks. Okay, so I mentioned nap pods or sleep pods. So some people like to have a little nap in the afternoon. It helps them think better and makes them more creative. But also, Cisco spends quite a lot of time helping us look after our well-being. So, and this is one of those occasions. So you can have a little massage in one of these chairs, and just a little nap, night for now. So this is one of our many soft areas. Now when I say soft area, that means you can go and sit down, get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or most importantly, and I know this is important to you guys, free hot chocolate. Oh yes. So we have machines like this, which seems to be doing something, especially for me right now, <laughs> which can give you all these things. But uh, yeah, we have free tea and coffee. We have that great restaurant. Uh, we have the Starbucks cafes. Cisco really go over and above to help look after us. And of course, not forgetting the nap pods that we just saw. Okay, so I just want to take a little stop here. This is the marketing area. And as you can see, we have some lovely positive messaging. This is around Cisco's uh, principles, its priorities, how it wants us to sort of grow and develop. So here's some ways to stay creative, but actually you can see just here, give your best, give your ego the day off, give something of yourself, take accountability, take difference to heart and take a bold step. You know what? We can nominate each other and give tokens to each other to pick out these um, things that I've spoken about here. And every time we do that, Cisco gives a dollar to charity. Right now, we're at something like $97,000 that have been donated, one token at a time. So that's over 90,000 people that appreciate each other by one of these tokens. So this is what we call a virtual experience center. There are several of these uh, around the world with Cisco. We are in Bedford Lakes. But essentially, I can be absolutely anywhere here. Uh, if we had operators in, we'd flick over and show you. But with this backdrop and this ground, it's a whole 3D setting. So I could be sitting on a train. I could be climbing a mountain. I mean, I could be doing anything, but it is kind of cool. But we don't just have this. In the other building over in building 10, we have a TV studio, uh, which is fantastic. Set up a bit like this morning or something. You sort of sit on the sofa. And then we have a massive event center as well, which has cameras everywhere. And we use that for the cheap execs to talk to people around the world but we also use it for good old-fashioned fun like pub quiz uh, my job yes I know nobody can believe I've got a job doing that either come on let's go take a look in the other building and here we are at the CXC the Cisco Experience Center um, well I don't know that much about it though so should we go chat to Craig he's running everything inside now hi guys welcome to the CXC I'm here with dcloud Steve in our dcloud cafe so this is where we have all of our customers in this is technically our office but we invite people in so that they can have a station on one of the macs we can get them on dcloud demos which is our demonstration cloud and we also run demos ourselves here as well so follow me into the prism wall which we use as one of our interactive walls 
This is where we can have any kind of content that we like. So you can see that we've got a number of things up on the screen and this is completely interactive. So if you wanted to see a look at what it looks like on the green screen environment, for example, you can see we're moving around from our VXS studio that Sam spoke about earlier. So we can really place ourselves in whatever area that we want to be. We typically use this space for in-person demos when the customers will sit on us lovely couches, but we also have it for video as well. Speaking of video, let's head round to one of the briefing rooms. We will host all of our customers here so that we have a number of different rooms depending on the different types of customers we have in, the number of customers we have. And we'll give you a sneak peek into those rooms now. So this is one of our larger rooms with our lights off. And you can see that we've got large boardroom style with our video enabled systems as well. So we can deliver stuff both here and remotely. Follow me around this way and we'll take a quick look at one of our lab environments where we do the more technical demos. So with this, we have our Turing room. And all of the rooms around here are named after inventors, explorers. And you can see here where we're setting up some of our software defined access demos, uh, Meraki demos, SD-WAN. It's a little bit colder in this room because it is a lab environment, but you can see all the physical hardware because that's what customers want to see. They want to see this stuff actually working. So this is where we bring the technical customers in, where we can show them how we set up a live network from scratch. Follow me around this way and we'll carry on. We've got even larger rooms for our briefing audiences that are more like lecture hall styles. And we also have our contact center demo area where my colleague Tim is the absolute contact center guru. He does everything with it. So you can see through these doors how we've got a number of different things set up on that as well. And the last thing we've got is our collab area. It's just over the other side of the building. So we'll magically transport ourselves there now. Welcome to our collaboration demo area. This is also known as the fishbowl. Have a look inside. Here we've got a number of different collaboration endpoints. So whether they're room systems, whether they're desk systems, or even the WebEx boards, which are a fully interactive screen. We've got everything in here to show to our customers about what's going on with everything to do with Cisco WebEx and all of our different systems and how it all integrates. So that's a quick tour of the CXC from the customer demo point of view. So hopefully you guys will be interested in coming over and seeing a demo from us. But right now I'm gonna hand back to Sam and she'll show you the rest of the campus. So this is what we call the VEC, the Virtual Event Centre. Um, although you can be in person, because if it was really virtual, we'd be able to use it for this, wouldn't we? Uh, nevertheless, this is a great big event centre and we would normally be based in there doing all our activities. Unfortunately, at the moment, of course, because of lockdown, we don't even have any lights in there. So I'm gonna share some photographs of you. Take a look at these. So here we are, third floor of building 10. This is where the sales people sit. And it's normally on a Monday, especially a hive of activity. People making deals, having meetings, working out how much they should be making. And they have a thing called a number, but that's how these guys earn their money. Uh, so there's a lot of energy in this place, but it's also a place where people need different environments to work. So you might want to sit at a desk, or you might want to sit in one of these little, I'm not sure what you call them, bonquette? Maybe. Anyway, we have these, which sort of makes, holds the sound in a little bit. It doesn't entirely. So we've got a couple of those going on. So that suits um, quite often we see apprentices sitting in there. And then this main normal desk. This area, which is often very busy as well. Um, but some people like to sit very upright when they're working. And you can see just as we're talking that that WebEx team screen came on uh, in the background there. So you can use that to hold your meetings. Um, and also people will just work on this board. They'll get one of the pens out and they'll start brainstorming their ideas. So, and here we go. That's my, that's, that's my seat in, in the corner. The place is really untidy. That's where you'll find me. And these, again, I might refer to them as cells, but um, actually people love working in here. And when it gets a bit chilly, they're nice and snug too. But yes, so this is another working environment. Also means you can have personal, sorry, personal, private, professional conversations that you don't want everybody else to hear is the answer to that. Some little 
ones here so you can just sit on the side, which is quite nice. And then just some small offices. So if you need to have a private conversation or you need some real science to focus in on something and you don't want people interrupting you, we still have spaces that do that as well. But in general, in Cisco, we talk a lot about collaboration. Now, if you're not sitting near enough each other, or then it makes it much more difficult to collaborate. So we have all these different areas to do that in. Around that WebEx board is one of them. And again, sort of our meeting rooms here. Just a small meeting room with a WebEx Teams board in it. So, uh, and you can see there's new instructions up there on how to use that uh, during COVID-19. So there's the uh, avoid overcrowding and avoid using the touch panel uh, and connect to meetings using your WebEx Teams app rather than sort of going up there and touching the screen. So we're really working at how we're gonna bring people back onto site. So at some point in the future, we will be doing work experience uh, in person. But for now, let's just enjoy the virtual stuff. Come on. Oh, sorry, 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 I didn't realize you were coming. Okay, let me just put him back. Uh, yes, this is the IT area. Lots of young people work in the IT area. Uh, and as you can see, they like to make sure that we're helping them work to the best they possibly can. So to do this, we have different work environments. So like we discussed in the other building, these guys got some games and stuff down here, but essentially they'll sit here, do some brainstorming. Uh, they do exactly the same up here. And you can stand up here and just use your meeting board here. So at any point you can collaborate with people, which is what you need to do. So even when we're back in the office and we're socially distancing, we're still going to be able to use um, this fabulous technology to uh, keep us all in contact with people and make sure we keep the business moving. So what else have we got? Oh yes, big scrabble board downstairs. Let's go check that out. Okay, so there's not really a lot to see on this floor, but I couldn't leave without telling you about the lion. And the scrabble board! So as you can see, it's got lovely polite things on there. I'm not letting you loose with it because I know what happens when I do. So this is Building 11. Now in Building 11, we do a lot of our R&D stuff, which is research and development. So we're seeing lots of technical stuff when we pop into here, but also in this building is the gym. We can't get into the gym at the moment because obviously it's closed, but uh, it's really great and it's really cheap as well. We also have a nursery. So Cisco really look after us. They really want to make us be able to deliver the best we can through all giving us all the support that they can. And the gym is one of those ways. And at the moment, of course, we have our Pavelka well-being. I don't know if you know him, Jesse Pavelka. He's, uh, well, he's, he's a well-being guru. Cisco would have no less for us. Okay, so here we are in the silly pod, which is the customer proof of concept. Now over here, this is where customers come up with ideas. This is how we show them whether they're gonna work or not. See all this equipment? Millions and millions of dollars. Well, that was the whistle stop tour of Bedpont Lakes. We're at the back of Building 10 at the moment, and I'd just like to finish this with a little shot of just how beautiful a place we're in. Take a look.